In this tutorial, we are going to learn about 3D sound nodes in SimLab VR and sound actions in the Training Builder. We have in this scene models of two speakers and a controller for them. In the VR workbench, we go to Effects and we select Create Sound. We place the sound node on the middle of the speaker. We duplicate the node for the other speaker. While selecting a 3D sound node, we can find its properties under the VR Sound tab in the Properties panels. We select a sound file. We have several options for playing a sound in VR, such as looping and play on start. We can change the type of the sound node between spatial and constant. A spatial sound can be heard at its maximum volume from the origin of the sound node and fades away with distance. However, a constant sound plays with fixed volume in the background. The range of the spatial sound can be edited as well. 4.5 meters would be fine for this scene. Now we are going to add a control method for this sound. We open the Training Builder. We select the Sound Action response. We select one of the sound nodes, then we click here to attach it. We do the same for the other speaker. We can use the Node Triggered event to make the Play Pause button as a toggle for the sound. We have many types of sound actions. We can toggle, play, pause, play a specific duration, or even seek to a different time. Now we want to create the pause button. We copy the whole diagram, we select the stop button and attach it to the node triggered event. To make a stop behavior, we seek the audio to the time zero. We can now run the experience. We click the play pause button to play the music. If we are using stereo speakers, we can notice that the sound amplitude and direction gets affected by moving around. 